Here's a tutorial on how to save your Tinkercad file so you can use the file for laser cutting. All right. First, I'm going to make sure my grid is on. Inches. There we go. Hit update grid. Next, I'm going to get a box over here, put it down. I'm going to make sure my file is, my stencil is one eighth of an inch tall. All right. Move this box over. We're going to make it a little bit less than an eighth of an inch, so we're going to make it a sixteenth of an inch. So there we go. And I'm going to drag this out so it's just a little bit bigger than my stencil. Here we go. Hit the home button. There we go. Okay. So see how it's just a little bit bigger. Now what I'm going to do is click on my stencil, make it a hole. Select both of them, clip, click group, and now I have the negative image of my stencil. And this is exactly what I want for laser cutting. Next thing I'm going to do is go to design, download for 3D printing, click preview SVG at the bottom. And when I move my object now, you can see the red lines underneath. Those red lines is exactly where the laser cutter is going to cut. So I can click Dismiss Preview SVG, and then I can actually save it as an SVG. And now I'm one step closer to laser cutting my file.